Hello everyone. Uh, this is Tony, and uh, I'm gonna do this vlog in plain English. Um, I'm gonna improve my oral English by reading an article from the internet. So I challenged myself to uh, read a, a read an article every week and uh, try to improve my English skill. Uh, all right, without any further ado, let's get started. So this is an article from voanews.com. It's about uh, Apple switching to its own uh, custom silicon. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about my throat. <coughs> Apple to drop Intel to use its own chips in Mac computers. June 24th, 2020. Apple says it will start using the same chip te technology it uses in, in its mobile devices to power the next generation of Mac computers. The new technology will replace Intel-based chips, which have been built into Mac machines for the past 15 years. Chips have powered a computer's processing system, one of the main materials used to make computer chips. <clears throat> is silicon, a chemical element. In its announcement this week, the company said uh, the, its first Mac to include uh, the new Apple Silicon chips would have uh, would be available by the end of 2020. <clears throat> the news came during Apple's yearly conference for computer programs and mobile app developers this year. The conference was held online because of the coronavirus crisis. <clears throat> Apple chief Tim Cook told people watching the conference. <clears throat> Sorry, I just I just finished my dinner. <laughs> that the decision marked a historic new beginning for the Mac. Silicon is at the heart of our hardware. He said, having a world-class silicon design team is a game changer. The company already uses Apple-designed chips in its iPhone and iPad devices. The same kind of chip are also used to power most smartphones in use throughout the world. Apple says the decision to move away from Intel chips is designed to make Mac computers faster and more efficient while requiring less power. <clears throat> Johnny Saruji is Apple's vice president for hardware technology. He explained the he explained the change the change to the conference. The first thing this will do is give the Mac a whole new level of performance, he said. Saruji said the company will draw on its experience Designing the world's most uh, the world <coughs> the world's most energy efficient chips that currently power Apple's mobile devices. <coughs> it's all started with the iPhone, Suruji said. The iPhone demanded demanded performance and capabilities that were seen as impossible in a device that is small. The change will also establish a common architecture across all Apple products, the company said in a statement. That means the new Mac will be able to run apps that currently work on work only on iPhones or iPads. Apple promised that developers would be able to easily convert their existing existing apps to run on Apple Silicon. A company official said the majority of existing apps for the Intel-based machines should be able to be changed in just a few days. Apple said the new system should be in all Macs within two years. In a statement, Intel said it still planned to keep its relationship with Apple across several areas of business. Experts told the Reuters news agency this could include Intel continuing to supply to supply Apple with data center chips to power its iCloud service. 
<clears throat> the new Apple chip are based on technology developed by ARM Holdings, a semiconductor and a software design company owned by Japan's software bank group. On the same day as Apple, Apple's conference, a, a machine that uses ARM technology was named the world's fastest supercomputer. The Fukaku supercomputer was developed by Japanese research organization Riken and uh, Japanese Fujitsu uh, Fuji, LTD. The Fukaku system was at the top on the top 500 list, a ranking that comes out two times a year of the world's most powerful computers. Arm Holdings announced the latest list on Monday. Before that, the company, the top ranked supercomputer on the list was a machine, was a machine based on, <coughs> based at a, okay, Oka uh, Ridge National Laboratory in the United States. The system runs on chips designed by American te technology company IBM. Chips from IBM and Intel were used in all other systems in the top 10, except for a system using a Chinese designed chip from China's National Supercomputing Center in the city of Wuxi. One use of supercomputers by governments is to uh, simulate nuclear explosions in weapons tests. They are also used to model climate systems and uh, in biotechnology research. The Fukaku super supercomputer will be used for such projects in Japan. I'm Brian Lin. All right, just to finish the reading. This is not hard, actually. Alright, see you next week. Bye-bye.